Okay. It says 2.4 meg on a resistor that's marked as brown, green, yellow, which we all know from our resistor color code is 150k. That's the uh, that's a resistor that's in series with the uh, vertical height adjustment. So clearly there's a problem there. What was weird was my resistance checks didn't bring this up when I use a SAM. So there must have been a different path that this thing was uh, reading into. Um, anyway, on a hunch, I just went ahead and checked, take this one out of the circuit and check it, which is the only really good way you can take it, you can check, because I put it back in the circuit, like this, you get 86k, so obviously there's another path to the ground, but what it tells me is this resistor is probably the, uh, the height problem. I'll take care of that. I did check out the cap, I think I mentioned that in the last part. I went ahead and replaced this little snubber cap here just because, like I said, I don't have any way of checking it. It's a 2,000 volt cap. So I just kind of routinely do this. Uh, here's the original. I just don't have a good effective way of checking these things out. It's probably okay. I mean, there. But, you know, it's an easy thing. I, I, just, I just routinely do that. Um, so anyway, I think what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll put the 150K resistor in here. And then the other thing I always know that's bad, every every one of these chassis I've ever worked on have the same problem. I think I mentioned this in another video. Let me see. spin this around without dropping or anything. There's a cap that sits right there between this tube and that power resistor. Right there. That cap has tested bad on every single RCA uh, 12 through 16 chassis. When I mean bad, it's usually not leaky, but it's very lossy. In other words, the eye doesn't give you a good solid opening. What's interesting about it is, you know, you replace it and it's still, the set seems to perform pretty well, but I uh, did a little reading on this. This cap has a lot to do with setting up the, um, the, um, DC restoration by maintaining a charge, a constant charge against this grid of this tube. So I figure you want that to be right. You know, maybe the DC restoration doesn't notice too much as a problem, but that cap does that. And the other caps for the other two difference amps are that one and that one. And if you look at them, you can even see they look different. I mean, that one looks brown. Let me clean it. Hold on a minute. Let me just wipe it off here. Okay. It's got kind of a brownish look to it, whereas these are look like orange drops. So maybe I'm just being wrong with that. But these two caps, which perform the same function for the other two difference amps, typically test okay. It's only that one that's a problem. And I think it's because of its proximity to that power resistor and that tube. Anyway, I'll go ahead and replace all three of those, just again, be, just because. Um, I think that's probably all I'll do to this chassis. Well, I still got to figure out which one of the power supply caps is bad because I got that bad video hum, but I'm almost 100% sure that that 150K is drifting up to 2.4 meg is going to be the reason why my vertical height isn't right. Anyway, more later.